I'm going to ask you a life and death question about Williamsburg, Brooklyn. No, not that Williamsburg, but the same neighborhood just a few blocks south. And here's the question. How do you heal a community cut in two by a dangerous, infectious wound? In the 1940s, Robert Moses directed the construction of the BQE, the Brooklyn Queens Expressway, as a six-lane trench through the vibrant, historically immigrant neighborhood of South Williamsburg, or as we love to call it, Los Sures, the South Side. The BQE divided the once cohesive community and the highway became a violent marker of territory. The very few parks are perched on the edge of the trench where the highest asthma rates in the city can be traced along its path. My name is Diana Reina and I grew up in Los Sures. And once, as a child, holding my mother's hand, I ran from this park when gunfire broke out. In 2010, representing the South Side as the first Dominican woman on the city council. I had an idea for healing this wound. We would reconnect the two sides of the neighborhood and create much needed new park and green space to address the epidemic of chronic asthma. The idea is to deck over a section of the BQE with four and a half acres of beautiful green park space. We call it BQ Green, El Parque Verde. It is a big, ambitious vision, and it isn't going to be easy. I started working at Woodhull in 1995, I was shocked by the asthma prevalence. It struck me as an epidemic. Just looking at the magnitude of the problems and the enormousness of the problems, um, that it needed uh, a tremendous effort in the hospital, in the community, in the schools, uh, advocating for better air quality. Good afternoon. My name is Hayden Melendez, and I was born and raised in this community. And I am here today because of this. All my life, I had to carry this asthma pump everywhere I went. And I'm here for the future generation, the kids behind me, and the kids of the world to breathe clean air. It's not fair. I'm not asking you, I'm demanding. It's time to make a change. And the question is, where is the priority for these children? Where is the voice for these children? Who's going to stand up for these children? Who's going to stand up for all of these children who are suffering for asthma, who don't have a place to play, and whose parks and playgrounds are divided by the BQE? Don't get mistaken that the gentrification in this district has wiped us all out. We are pockets of culture, of history, of significance that need attention as well. For too long, we've seen a city that has looked to build green space and open space in areas that are much more affluent and much more white. What we don't see is those investments happening in communities like this one. We're not gonna take being number three in aspirates. We wanna be number three in the amount of park space that we have in this community. In 2017, I was Brooklyn's deputy borough president and, and still working to make BQ Green happen with local electeds and community organizations like El Puente, Los Sures, St. Nick's, and North Brooklyn Parks Alliance fighting alongside me the entire time. Well, I think the BQ Green is an exciting and dynamic project. Uh, I love it because it reflects 
an authentic engagement of the community, the community there today, and their needs and priorities. So the idea is to really bring this public amenity into a community that's been blighted by infrastructure. So you can see the overall vision, you know, those, those bridges that cross uh, the neighborhood are actually um, encapsulated within this park space. We so when we had a lot of meetings with the community, what they asked for was flower gardens and venture playgrounds, um, some passive areas, places for barbecuing, um, and then this active open space. I'd say the active open space was the, the, one of the main components that was really most, most desired. Today, the district is represented by city council person Antonio Reynoso. I think that the city needs to see it the way I see it. Um, so when it comes to Parkland, I really think it's about political capital there as well, is what neighborhoods make the most noise. So these conversations need to continue to happen. The community needs to stand up, rise up. Uh, our partners need to come out and continue to support us. We'll talk about how we got it done, ultimately, uh, and I think we can get there. What is it going to take to heal this wound running through Los Ures? What is the cost of continued economic devastation and an ongoing health epidemic? When will underserved neighborhoods get parks and services like the wealthier, gentrified neighborhood next door? Palante, mi gente. It's time to make BQ Green a reality.